गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट अर्थ इन द सोलर सिस्टम सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द थ्री इनर प्लैनेट्स अप टू अर्थ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सोलर सिस्टम एंड अबाउट द प्लैनेट मार्स As you know that this chapter belongs to class six, so we are going to discuss about the planet Mars. Mars is an inner planet which lies just before the asteroid belt in the solar system. As you know that the asteroid belt is lies between Mars and Jupiter, and this. belt or this asteroid belt separate the inner planets and outer planets so let's discuss about mars mars is the fourth planet in the solar system it is also known as red planet okay because of why it is called red planet because its surface and its surface is full of red colored soil as well as red color rocks the dust which is present within it it is also red that side appears red in color next is what now it has a thin and dry atmosphere the mars has a very thin and dry atmosphere and the water which is present in the mars which is only locked in the or two poles of the mars not only that nasa mars explorer rover again i am telling nasa mars exploration rover sent two robots sent two robots and landed on the mars on june 10 and july 7 in 2003 to explore the planet as you know that Mars has many essential things which are required for the survival of living things but still the NASA making many exploration in that to find out whether living organism is possible or able to survive on the Mars or not next planet which is come in the solar system is the Jupiter Jupiter as you know that it is the fifth planet in the solar system it is the largest planet in the solar system okay it made up of cloud and gases okay and it is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system again i am telling it is the largest okay it is made up of gas and dust it is uh, clouds and it is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system not only that it has the highest number of satellites so this is jupiter now let's discuss about saturn saturn is the sixth largest or sixth planet in the solar system and the second largest planet in the solar system it is made up of light gases like hydrogen helium okay and other gases it is light in weight and most importantly it has a ring and do you know that saturn is known as the beautiful planet or the most beautiful planet in the solar system next is the uranus uranus is the seventh largest planet in the sorry seventh number planet in the solar system it is made up of ice methane then ammonia gases and most importantly what now it has a dozen of dark dusty rings so it has about 12 numbers of dark dusty rings around it but it, these are not visible next is the neptune it is the eighth planet in the solar system or the most farthest planet in the solar system and it is about 57 times bigger than the earth means it is quite large okay uh, the rotation time of the planet neptune 
is about six hours seven minutes. The atmosphere of the Neptune contains the gas like hydrogen, helium, and methane, and mostly, it, most of the time there is strong storms, uh, many dust, and uh, what many uh, cyclones are occur. Cyclone means many storms are occurs in the Neptune, and it has five dark narrow rings. This is all about the Neptune. Now let's discuss about the dwarf planet. Dwarf planets are the planets which are very small in size in the solar system. As they are very small in size, they are known as dwarf planet. Okay. So dwarf planets. Some of the example is Pluto, then Eris, Ceres. These are the some example of dwarf planet. Pluto, which is a dwarf planet, it has its own satellite, which is known as Charon. So, student, now we are going to discuss about our soon. As you know that Earth is one of the important planet in the solar system, and we all living organisms are living over the Earth's surface. So, let's discuss about the moon of the Earth. So, moon. Cannot produce its own heat and light. So the light which we can see at the moment. so the moon which we can see at the night. What? The moon which we can see at the night. I do know that it produces light, but it only reflect the light of the sun. So moon do not produce its own own heat and light rather it only reflect the light of sun and another most important thing about moon is now the moon is 33 lakhs 78,000 kilometer away from the earth okay it is about 3 lakhs 78,000 kilometer away from the earth and it made up of solid rocks and dust okay and uh, mostly moon have craters in that a huge depressions were formed over the moon and these depressions are known as craters you can see we also sometimes you see there are different type of uh, images you can see in the moon these are not actually anything, these are only the craters which we can see it from the earth's surface. Just imagine how big crater these are. Now let's discuss about moon do not have its own air. Means it do not have any air. And another thing about moon is that now moon temperature, the temperature over the moon varies, the range of temperature in the day and night varies a lot. In the daytime temperature, it is about 1 degree, 105 degree Celsius in the day. And at night, it is about minus 150 degree Celsius. So there is a wide variation of temperature between the day and night in moon. And it is one sixth of the earth, means the size of the moon is comparatively very small. As the mass of the moon is very less in compared to the earth, that's why the gravity of the earth is more over the moon and that's why the moon is rotating around the earth. So let's discuss about the phases of moon. What is phases of moon? Students you might have seen or know about Purnima and Amavasya. This Purnima and Amavasya comes every 15 days. After 15 days of Purnima, there is Amavasya, and after 15 days of Amavasya, there is Purnima. These are occurs in phases, and this is known as the phases of moon. Phases of moon, why the moon rotating and revolving around the earth? As you know, that moon rotates around its own axis as well as it revolves around the earth. The rotating period and revolving period of moon is almost same. It is about 27 days and 8 hours. So the rotation period and the revolution period of moon is 27 days and 8 hours. 
Due to the rotation and revolution period is same of the moon, that's why we can see only one face of the moon. We are not able to see the both faces of the moon. Only we can see one side of the moon due to the same timing of rotation and revolution. So let's discuss about the phases of moon. Moon take two phases, one in the waxing and one. During the Purnima and Amabasya or during the full moon and new moon, it go through two phases from full moon to new moon, new moon to full moon. So the period from full moon to new moon is known as Vani. Again, I am telling the period from full moon to new moon is known as Vani. And new moon, the period of new moon to full moon is known as waxing. It is occur due to the revolution of the moon around the earth and it takes about 27 days and 8 hours. So again I am telling the period of the phase between full moon to new moon is known as one and new moon to full moon is known as waxing. In this there are different phases. Here it is the full moon, then it is called gibbous moon, then it is half moon and this is the crescent moon and this is the new moon. This phase 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these phases are come under the Vani. Then new, after new moon there is crescent moon, then half moon, gibbous moon and full moon. These phases is known as what? Waxing of the moon. So these are the phases of moon and the moon revolve around the earth along a elliptical path or that is the orbit along its it revolve. So this is all about the what phases of moon. Next we are going to read about asteroid, meteoroids and other things. So student we are going to discuss about asteroids. Asteroids are also known as what broken part of the planets or they are the small rocky bodies which are left over after the formation of planet. They are the small rocky bodies which are left over after the formation of the planets. Students, these are also known as what? These are also known as minor planets. Okay, asteroids are also known as minor planets. Mostly asteroids are found in between the Mars and Jupiter, which is the major asteroid belt in the solar system. Numerous number of asteroids are found between Mars and Jupiter around the Sun. Next discuss about the meteoroids and meteorites and meteoroids. So what is meteors? Meteors means it is the shooting star. You might have seen shooting star in the sky. Many of the meteors are occurred every day, almost every, within a day, many times. But few of them are visible to us. So when a shooting star enters into the Earth atmosphere, when the shooting star enters into the Earth atmosphere from the space, Due to friction in the earth atmosphere with different type of gases, it produces light and heat and it started burning off. The, when it started burning off, it is known as meteorites. It is known as meteorites. And when these bodies fall on the earth's surface, they are known as meteoroids. So, one of such examples of meteoroid is the largest meteoroid which found in fall on the Namibia, Africa, which is about 100 tons. Let's discuss about comets. Comets are made up of rocky materials, okay, and held together. These rocky materials are held together with each other by frozen gases and travel around the sun. These Comet, these travel around the sun in an oval path or elliptical path. It uh, listen the head of the comet is made up of solid material and the tail of the comet is made up of gaseous material. 
the one of such comet which come contact with the earth in every 76 year that is the Halley's comet Halley's comet in we have seen it in the in 1986 guess when will be the next we will able to visualize the Halley's comet on the earth's surface not only that uh, this is all about the comets let's discuss about artificial satellites many satellites are made by human beings these are known as artificial satellites these artificial satellites are the speed of the artificial satellites are same as the earth rotation due to that they are sometimes what we, we feel they are what stable or they are at a particular place but due to the rotation speed of the earth and the rotation speed of the artificial satellite is almost same about 24 hours that's why they look stable another thing about artificial satellite is that artificial satellite help us to provide various amount of knowledge about the weather forecasting about uh, any type of natural disaster it also provide uh, what have help us to in telecommunication and internet okay many other facilities are also provided by the artificial satellite one of the satellites which long by the India is the Aryabhat not only that except that many other artificial satellites are launched by the earth surface so student your chapter is completed next we will next class we will discuss about the chapter 2 so this is all about your first chapter thank you